Yeah, hi friends, uh, today we will discuss uh, how to <coughs> set up a legal entity and make it as a legal employer and uh, all the taxes uh, how we are going to be done in real time. Okay, just click on this uh, user and click on setup and maintenance. Then I am going to be uh, enlarging the screen. Okay, click on this task list. Click on search under the global search. Search define legal entity. Yeah, this task. Next, under the scope, click on this scope. Either you want to create a new one or you want to uh, go ahead with existing one like that it is going to be asking just click on this drop down and select uh, like create new and apply and go to task and then click on place yeah here we can see the country and all the fields okay United Kingdoms select the country and uh, enter the legislation sorry enter the con uh, your company name for example uh, my company name like uh, Kia Automotive next uh, legal identifier there some uh, some digits and if you want to make this as a legal employer then you can enable this option and uh, after that if you want to process payroll also you can enable this uh, PSU that is public statutory unit and uh, enter the legal address where it has been located okay and the legal entity registration number give some the pay scheme also you click on save and close next click on this manage legal entity registration next click on edit Jurisdiction it should be uh, United Kingdoms, right? We are uh, configuring, so it should be for United Kingdoms. United Kingdom HMRC. Next uh, registration number. Like uh, enter this uh, roughly, okay. And registration name, registered name, like uh, uh, Kia, right? Kia Motors. Issuing legal authority. This and all not required, just click on save and close. Yeah, we have to select this option. The legal entity registration number. Next, again, click on this task. Select this one and click on edit. Make this as an IS identifier. Okay. Default it would be no. Next legal function if you want. You can add otherwise no need. Just click on save and close. Next uh, legal entity HCM information. Click on this task. Mm 
wait, wait one minute we in the scope we will bring what whatever we uh, configure right that one click on select and add and go to task next enlarge this search master motors just click on search so rikya automotive right Yeah, automotive here our legal entries just click on that and click on save and close then click on save and close option yeah here we can see next click on legal entity is the same information click on edit correct now for this PSU payroll statutory unit we have to uh, Act to the our legal entity sorry our uh, legislation okay our GP legislation under which country you are paying the salaries okay that is the meaning of that just click on submit click on yes click on ok click on done Next uh, legal entity calculation cards. This is at uh, PSU level. Just click on place. It should be default one uh, one one nineteen fifty one. Just click on this drop down. Select the organization statutory deduction. Okay, these are the calculation cards. Uh, like whenever the employee is hiring in the organization this should be added defaultly okay that is the meaning of this click on continue here we can see payee and ni okay here ni is nothing but na national insurance and uh, pay is nothing but pay as even that is tax Mm, okay mm, yeah here we can see National just enlarge this option default NI category select as default pension not contracted out click on save next click on taxes Next, click on plus calculation component that is pay as you earn. Click on OK. Next in the P45 action, click on drop down, click on issue when final pay in or, non, in or after the period of termination. Next enable automatic pay tax code. These options are enough. Click on save and close. Next click on place. Next, click on like pension automatic enrollment option. Yeah. 
click on continue Yeah, click on save and close ok enlarge this option boxes please screen for completion maybe I scroll ok here we have to create one element ok then we have to attach here function function scheme function automatic enrollment hmm here it is sir hmm ok Click on place, click on drop down, have page, click on automatic enrollment, click on OK, okay let me try this one afterwards, ok, next, uh, come back next click on this uh, legal entity re reporting unit next click on this drop down select that apply and go to task select our legal, legal employer next click on save and close next legal reporting unit gcm information Click on this uh, TRU tax reporting unit and establish uh, reporting establishment. Okay. Click on next. Click on submit. Click on yes. Click on OK. Hmm. Next legal reporting unit at calculation level. This is a TRU level. Okay. I because we enable right uh, just now in the legal entity uh, legal reporting unit is same information so here uh, one minute huh? uh, legal reporting unit is same information correct Next, click on this task, click on place, default change to 1151. Next, uh, automatic enrollment. Uh, okay. Nation statutory deduction. This will override to the PSA level. Okay, if you are entering this information at TRU level, the system will consider uh, this level only. If in case if you forget means, then the system will automatically pick up the PSA level. Okay. Same process. Enlarge this national national insurance. And click on the pension not contracted out next click on taxes click on place okay as you have calculation component click on ok P45 action P45 
click on the drop down issue and final pay and after termination let's enable automatic pay tax code click on save and close next click on place click on drop down click on organization function automatic enrollment click on continue so that whenever we are running the process in the submitted flow it will automatically enroll the people enroll the employees okay for pension scheme okay so now we are hiring whenever you are hiring at kia automotives the tax reporting will unit will automatically populate okay yeah thank you